All right, Amber, thank you. A visible act of generosity to victims of the Woolsey fire. Hundreds turned out at a charity concert to open their hearts and their checkbooks. Yeah, this is really cool. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold, she's live at this massive fundraiser in Calabasas. Pretty good turnout, huh? Yeah, it is a major turnout here, and it's such an incredible day out here at King Gillette Ranch. I want to go ahead and give you an idea. It's more of an intimate festival, sort of a backyard barbecue vibe. You have the stage here. We're listening to Brandy Carlisle right here, and then around the stage are all, all these airstreams that concert goers rented out to have their own private venues. And then if you to pan over to the right here, we have food. We have uh, food from Nobu, food from Elefante, and we've seen some of the biggest names in music out here today. Katy Perry. We've seen Natasha Bedingfield. We've seen Alana. Miss Morissette, all to raise money for the Woolsey Fire victims. I got the eye. Good music, good food, all for a good cause. The One Love concert at King Gillette Ranch in Calabasas has already raised more than $1 million for victims of the Woolsey Fire. We're just trying to give back to all the families that unfortunately lost a lot of valuable and um, just, you know, their home and things that were precious to them. Big name performers like Natasha Bedingfield spent the afternoon serenading a crowd of locals, all supporting their friends and family in Malibu and beyond. Watching the fires was pretty terrifying and um, so many of my friends have lost homes. And so for me, it's just this amazing action of something to do when something is a tragedy. Other bands like Best Coast, an indie rock duo from Los Angeles, were happy to lend their time and talent to the festival. They both grew up in Glendale and say these wildfires hit particularly close to home. It's the least we could do. I mean, there was a fire a couple years ago right by my mom's house, and she had to evacuate and stay with me for a couple days. So. I, I understand what people are going through. It was a day to celebrate togetherness, love, and community with vendors like Nobu and Elefante feeding the hungry masses. Some people opted for blankets and bottles. Others went all out and reserved airstreams to take in a show in a private venue of sorts. Kai Ahrens designed the artwork for the event and is also DJing. It just feels good. I mean, when you're sitting at home and you're just seeing everything that's going on, you're like, what could you do? You try to imagine yourself in that same situation. It's the entire show was put together in less than two weeks with a last minute venue change just two days ago. Still talent showed up as did the crowd showing one love for Malibu. And still a couple more hours of music to come. Gwen Stefani and Macy Gray expected to take the stage sometime this evening. For now we are live in Calabasas. Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News. All right,